everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Janice, I'm 23 years old, I'm from Brooklyn, New York, and today we're starting off the Sunday day in my life in a different area. As you can see, I'm in a different place. I'm not at home in my apartment. My second job actually called me back to work. I only work five hours a week here. They're not really back in full swing. It's a real estate and I'm a secretary. I usually only work anyway about six hours a week here. I know it's not a lot, but it does help with bills and saving extra money. The job has always helped me for the past few years. And I find it really interesting because I learn a lot from this job and it'll all be useful to me when it comes to figuring out what apartment next I'm gonna rent or when I'm gonna own a home eventually down the line. I have learned a lot of tips and tricks here. So today I'm back at work, it's 10 a.m. My shift is from 10 to three. Basically what I do here is I answer the phones, I set up appointments for people to view homes and usually Sundays is the day they have open houses, but they don't have open houses yet. Like I said they're opening up very slowly because they want to make sure that everyone is safe. Usually no one's here with me on the weekend. Sometimes one or a few agents come in and do some work for a little bit, but no one really stays the full time. That's what today is looking at until 3 o'clock, but what I really am excited about is later I'm going to tour an apartment close by where I live now with my roommate and it's our first apartment that we're gonna look at so i'm really excited and i'm going to record it because i want to not only remember all of the apartments that i tour but also it'll be nice to look back and see which one we eventually end up choosing i'm trying not to be stressed about looking for an apartment and kind of embrace it so for those of you who are moving during a pandemic i feel for you and I just, I know what you're going through. We're gonna make it through it. So yeah, let's get to work. It's a little bit later. <laughs> it's actually, it is now 2.32, which means I am about 28 minutes away from being free. And I will be picking up my friend, who is also my future roommate, and we are going to tour our first apartment. And I'm so excited about it. Just a few things that I could go over briefly before going on this tour is that yes I'm looking in areas in Brooklyn so we're looking in neighborhoods like Bay Ridge, Bensonhurst, Mill Basin, Marine Park, Sheepshead Bay, things close to also the train station not too close as if we're not going to be falling asleep close but also things close to the train station because my friend works in the city and she'd prefer to be close obviously. I don't exactly know which school I'll be working with in the fall so I'm not too particular about where I have to be. I do know where my practicum is though for school psychology for my program however I know that no matter where we go I can get somewhat close which is the good thing about Brooklyn is that aside of the Belt Parkway which is a nightmare as long as you choose a location that's friendly to all of our needs, we're gonna be okay, which I feel like we will be. However, this was the first apartment that we saw that was within our price range and also included all utilities. And let me tell you, that is so attractive. <laughs> like, finding anything that has all utilities included would be a blessing. We're trying to find something for September 1st, but if things pan out where we find something for August 1st, that's also okay too. It just gives me more time to be able to move my things. Once September starts and I go back to work full time and I'm also going to school again part time, it's just, it's going to be a lot for me to move. So I know that this is a good decision to keep my mind open about these types of things. That's like the three month plan. <laughs> 
that I have, it's gonna work out. So I'm not stressed, I feel really excited. And I'm not gonna be giving away the specific addresses just because I'm not sure if we will eventually be moving in there. I mean, I'm sure you guys are fine with it and respect the privacy of that. The next clip you guys are gonna see is of the apartment tour. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be taking my phone or the camera so the quality might be different. Hey guys, so it's a while later now. I already said that before, but now it's literally a while later. It's 5.30, I just got back to my apartment. So my roommate and I went to see the apartment. As you could see, the footage was horrible. I took it on my phone and I wasn't, I was too nervous to ask the guy if we were allowed to film or not. So I kind of just like held my phone up to my chest and like walked around and saw it. But we are so in love with it. We're applying for it. I know this is probably crazy, um, but it just met all of our needs and it's in a very nice area. We're going to apply for it. We don't want to get too excited because they said that someone else also applied for it and they were looking good, whatever that means, but <laughs> you never know. So we're going to try and submit our application and stuff like that and I will keep you updated in this process. I. I'm feeling confident, but I don't want to be too confident because I don't want to feel, you know, like let down. But I'm very excited to get out of where I'm living. This is a whole new world for me. I don't know. I just want to remember this moment. Even if we don't get this apartment, we will continue looking, obviously, and I will get this feeling again. It's going to be good. Life is on the move. Even during the pandemic, like, you know, we were very safe. We had our masks on and he kept his distance, the agent. He also stepped outside for a little bit so we could see it by ourselves. That's it. So now I'm home. I have to scan all of my documents to send him. I'm going to have some dinner and go to sleep early because I'm exhausted. Because when I do like anything more than like two hours of work, I feel completely exhausted from the pandemic. Like, I don't know how I'm going to adjust back into my full-time life in September. But it's gonna happen and we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was a Sunday in my life. Not too typical because I don't normally tour apartments. I will keep you guys updated on this journey as I'm very excited about it. Yeah, stay tuned for some apartment updates. Okay guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.